Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about voting because it's almost Super Tuesday and voting is really important and every vote counts. The first thing that you need to do is register to vote. I have some voter registration day stickers right here. But if you didn't register to vote on voter registration day or you're not registered to vote, you can register right now at rockthevote.org. After you're registered to vote, you're going to have to decide who to actually vote for. If you're a registered voter, you probably have been receiving some mailers like this in the mail or mailers like this. Candidates and PACs and committees send out mailers, but they're usually really biased and they're not the best way to decide who to vote for. The best way to decide who to vote for, in my opinion, is to talk to the candidates or go to forums so you can actually hear what they have to say on the issues. But if you don't have time for that, the next best thing is going to be your voter guide. Your voter guide will have candidate statements from all the candidates and it will also have pros and cons for all the measures. So this is a really great resource. You probably got one in the mail or you're probably getting one soon. And if you didn't get one, you should probably contact your registrar or voters office. Then after you decided who to vote for, you actually have to vote. You can't vote online, which is honestly a good thing in my opinion, but in most places you can vote by mail or in person. Check out the link down below to find your polling place. Your polling place is also probably listed on your voter guide. Or if you're like me and you live in Santa Clara County, you already got a ballot in the mail because everybody's getting a vote by mail ballot. We can also still vote in person. Every county usually has different ballots. This is what mine looks like. It has all the candidates and then you just fill in the bubble. In some counties you fill in bubbles, in some counties you mark lines, and others have electronic voting systems. So it's really going to depend on where you live, but make sure that you're following the directions so that your vote counts. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to vote. Some places require voter ID, which can be a little bit difficult for some people, but at least where I live, it's pretty simple and straightforward and you have a lot of different options. I hope this video helped and I hope this video convinced you to vote if you weren't planning on voting before. Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions. Also, check out Rock the Vote because they have a lot of great resources. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to vote and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.